I had a few other projects I had to take care of, but now it's time to get back to this east lake. I'll start by anchoring in a bridle tie right here at the center of my palm. I can tack this or tie a knot either way. I'll loop back here, right in the center. Set that aside and start putting in some wood wool and even this seat up. Keeping the wool adequately moisturized, it's easy to sculpt this into shape and even out the void areas. Take a little at a time. It gets a little deeper here on the back. Work with it. Build it up. Sometimes the regulator helps lift some areas and even them up. Okay, that's tapering back pretty nice. I'll feather in some more wool along this edge here. I'm stuffing it to about the uh, density of my thumb, just about a half inch fill, smoothing out that stitched edge. Pull these layers together here along the side. I'll work with this wool and level it out to a nice rounded crown. I'll finish filling in this little corner here and tie off the bridle. With the wood wool in place, I'm going to soften this surface up by dropping on a thin layer of horsehair. I won't need bridle ties on this. It should lay in place pretty much on its own. Takes just a very gentle touch. Feather off just small little tufts of hair at a time. This stitched edge is going to be the finished profile on the seat, so I need to Get all these fibers tucked in and clean up this edge. 
I sprayed just a couple little shots of water on it to soften it up and make it pliable. Take the regulator and even out this edge. With the hair and wood wool all in place, it's ready to pull together with some muslin. I'll work off a center reference and line up the salvage edge and with the frame. Put a few temporary shots along here. I'll line up center on this front. Snug it into place. Again, temporary shots just to line up and snug things up. Brush those loose fibers up above the stitched edge. Snug this down a little more in this curve. Okay, I think I can start working the sides into place. Kind of snug things up here and watch the weave in the material. Get it all balanced out over the crown. I'll fold this back. Line up the center of this arm and start cutting towards it. Fall short just a little bit for now. Pull it over the side and do a temporary shot. Well, leaving out the slack in this material, do a diagonal cut up here towards this corner post, but I'm going to stop short. Just a little, about an inch shy, and we can make adjustments later with it. Take the slack out in this direction, even up the weave. Make this diagonal cut towards the post. I'll pull these tails back and square them up with the side, side rail here, the frame. Get rid of some of the excess. I'll turn this muslin under, keep an eye on the weave, make sure that it's all even and running in a straight line.
Tack that to the top. I'll start filling in the shallow areas. I'm going to make a few more temporary shots along here until I get the side release cuts all made. Shoot these every two or three inches. As I'm pulling down around the curve on this front rail, pull just a little bit tighter and the weave of the fabric is going to drop off accordingly. We'll pull in this little jag here on the front by the leg. With the muslin all pulled pretty tightly in shape from the front to the back, I'm going to work with these fibers and knead them together, work with shaping this front profile, pull slack material out and follow these yarns and we'll start trimming out the sides. Turn this fabric back and press it into shape. I'll line up and finish this diagonal cut towards the back corner post. I'll work that hair down inside the edge of the frame and turn this muslin back. Pull this down over the edge a little and shoot a temporary shot right here. Make sure the horse hair is on top of the stitched edge and work with it towards the front corner. Another temporary shot. I need to aim for this point right here. And again, I'm going to cut short, but we'll just go down a little bit here and see what happens. Tuck this in with the regulator. Okay, not bad. Turn this under. Probably have to work a little bit of additional stuffing in along this edge here. Add some uh, wood wool in here and Tighten this void area up a little more. 
work at cleaning up this profile right here. Turn it under and trim it away. Cut back some of that excess fabric there and open this side up. Need to tuck just a little bit of hair in back in there. Work that hair up a little better on top of the stitched edge. Start finishing this off here. Turn that under and staple to the top of the rail. Keeping an eye on this weave here and making sure it remains even. Okay, that seat's ready for upholstery. I'll start the back by stretching in a foundation of burlap. Follow it straight with the frame. Not in my bridal tie. With wood wool evened up at about three fingers deep, I can pull up this bridle and tie it and drop on some horse hair.
We'll work a little more hair into this corner and tighten it up. Pull in this pleat here. We'll keep working a little hair in along the side and even this profile up with the weave. It's important not to pack horse hair too, too firm. It needs to have a little resiliency and you can find yourself packing it, trying to force a shape, and it just won't happen. So, go easy. Use the regulator and dig into some of that hair and move it around. Helps shape things up a little bit. I'll tie in an anchor on this corner here. I'm going to use up a bunch of short ends of string I've accumulated so you'll see a few knots along the way. Start working this blind row around the curve back up through the top. I'm going to take it right back down through the same hole and knot down at the rail. Wrap that needle a couple times and pull it through. Trim away this excess muslin and the chair is ready for cover cloth. <laughs> 